Hey guys, everybody always asks um, for kind of a tour of our RV since we have been living um, off grid for almost two years now. So everybody is out in Reno at the mall and I just want to stay home and clean because my lovely little Lesnar, where is he? Has been shutting up a, shedding up a storm. And um, I just wanted to do that. So it's probably not the best uh, lighting in here. It's late at night. I figured I'd give you kind of like a quick tour of the inside of our RV. So right here we have the door we come in. A little mirror. We keep all the dog stuff up here with extra hats. Our shoes are right there. We have a dog water right here. All our dog toys and our extra drinking bottles. We use this as a very, please don't judge, unorganized pantry since we don't turn it on. We have all the states we've traveled to colored in. And this is more just storage. The actual fridge we use is over here. And it does run off solar. We have two Jackeries. One is right here and we do run off solar. It's late, so obviously we're not pulling any wattage. And we keep the other Jackery right back there on the side of my bed. That's our power situation for off-grid. And for water, we just use blues. And it's a little cold at night, so we do have our buddy heater out right now. These are the decorations how to put up that I'm in the process of taking down. And this is our bathroom. Let's turn the light on a little brighter. Okay, sorry, I have the red light on. But this is our composting toilet right here. I have a spare chair that I keep behind here. It's quite cold, so we haven't completely set up for outside yet. Um, and for brushing teeth, we just use our blue here. We fill up. We have our toothbrushes. We keep um, dog treats, toilet paper. And here we use our extra compost um, for when you go to the bathroom. And in our shower, we use it as storage when it's not being used as a shower. We just keep our laundry, um, some garbage bags, extra toilet paper. And there is dog food down there. And I like to keep it closed because... And in here, her closet, just more storage, dirty laundry. We use our cubbies on the side and the top. We put all our towels and such. And we do keep... And we do keep um, extra hangers in here for everybody to put their laundry. I For everybody to put their jackets. And we keep our broom behind here. When you come out of the bathroom, we do have a three burner stove. We have our oven, which I also keep our pots and pans in. And these are just storage up here. It's not really well organized. And I debated showing everybody, but you know, haters gonna hate. And then the kids' beds. This one, um, Hatter sleeps in. This one, Celia sleeps in. And then my husband and I back here. And then we just kind of use it on the side of our bed for storage. Over here is just some extra soda and food. And on this side is just extra batteries, propane, stuff like that. Our clothes up there. Also, I forgot to mention this is actually, I got it at Walmart and it is a storage cube that is supposed to be used for your closet. And yes, I know I have things hanging out of it, but like I said, I didn't clean to do this video. I just figured I would show you real life and how we live. And I know you're wondering about counter space. And we have <clears throat> fold out desks that we store back here. And then we also have 
you know, just some lap dust and stuff like that. Um, I have a sturdier metal one, but honestly, I just don't feel like digging it out right now. And we have cool little hacks, like this is where I store my jewelry. And this is where I store like my things I go to grab really quick. You know, just little things like that. And the best part is, I'm letting the dogs go potty really quick. This is my view of Reno at night right outside my door. So, yeah, we thought of these things like extra room and all that stuff. But we're enjoying our life. Come on, Finn, do you want treats? Good boys. All right, I got to give these guys their treats. One last Reno look. And at night, we do have curtains that pull and give everybody privacy all around. And that's my dog playing with his big carrot. That's my fat pig wondering who I'm talking to. Um, that's it. You know, it does get messy quick. We do keep our kids' school stuff up here. It is a hot mess for right now, but that's about it. And then each boy uses, as you can tell those, this is my teenagers. And they do have storage underneath their beds as well. Um, I'm not going to open their cabinets. I feel like that's a little bit of an invasion of their privacy. But yeah, that's our RV. And how we live off-grid almost all the time. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do um, a more in-depth, you know, show and tell kind of. Um, and we also have an outside setup, but since it's dark, I did decide not to show that for now. But until next time, oh boy, he must have dropped a toy. Until next time, right, Pig? Pig says goodnight. Are you being a cute piggy? Are you a cute piggy? <laughs> <laughs>